So I mentioned yesterday that I was going to attach a cat video that I'd seen on the internet onto the bottom of my page, but I didn't, and so I'm going to have to do that today. But anyways, uh, I was going back through my old files of videos that I used to have on YouTube, and it was really funny to see myself four years ago. Because today, I just talk how I want about whatever I want, but that, back then, I have no idea why I was even putting videos on the internet. I was so shy. Like, all you can see is quiet me with my hair all straightened and completely different than I am today. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll actually I'll attach it now and then you can see and you'll, you can see the difference. It's really funny seeing myself from like four years ago and seeing what I thought other people would be entertained with. Like, I'm so quiet and this is my life. I have this cat and his name is Tibbs. He has like this little routine thing that he goes through every morning because he's spoiled completely rotten. And as soon as he hears the first person like talk in the morning or whatever, he'll assume that we definitely want to be woken up. And so as soon as he hears someone, he'll, you know, walk around the house meowing incessantly. And yeah, that's how you wake up every morning to your cat and walk around the hall. And the reason why he meows is because he won't drink from anything but the tap unless it's a last resort. And there he is again. That's the whole story there. I'm My hair naturally looks like this and I used to straighten it every single day because I had this amazing boyfriend who told me that he didn't want to see me unless my hair was straight and me in all my self-confidence and awesomeness was like, okay, I'll always straighten my hair and so that's what I did. So as I said last week and as happened again this week, I got Wednesday off so today was a very eventful day for me. Uh, during my only day off of this entire week, I Went to the grocery store, got some snow tires for my car, uh, had dinner with my dad, and yeah, I played a lot of video games, and if my controller hadn't run out of power, I'd probably still be there doing that and forget making a video at all today. My house makes creepy noises when I'm home alone. <laughs> Anyways, I got an email from somebody, speaking of uh, my hair and all that junk and nonsense from four years ago, I got an email from somebody um, last week and I did not answer it, but I was supposed to answer it online. Uh, she was a 23 year old girl, much like myself, and her email was about asking how you can tell if a man is still interested in you. She's been dating him for six months and lately he just kind of seems to have dropped off the map. Um, I'm not a relationship guru or anything, but I've been through a great deal of very bad relationships. Two relationships, two years each, both of them ended in complete havoc. And then I was single for like a good year after the last one because it's really silly to be basing all of your life and your life decisions and your feelings on things towards a man. And so what I have to say about that is I really have no idea how you know if a guy is still interested in you or not. I'd like to hope that if he is, he's going to show interest. And if he's not showing interest, then uh, honestly, I would not worry about it. If someone's not interested in you, there's no point in trying to figure out what's wrong with you or why they're not or if they really are or not. The fact is, is that if someone's gonna treat you like they don't want you to be a part of their life, you should probably just move on and not include them as a part of your life.
there are so many amazing things about you and I know that you're sitting there thinking like no there's nothing about me but every single person has these amazing qualities if you ever lived in like a rooming house or something like that where you actually did share a space with a lot of people you would realize that people who you never would have thought interesting any other day have all got these amazing qualities about them and you genuinely learn to love every single person around you and I really feel like that's how you should treat yourself. If you don't feel like you're interesting, you are that person who when people get to know, they'll really like you and really love you and really want to spend time with you. Don't doubt yourself. Everybody has so much of themselves to share. Every single time that somebody is in a crappy relationship that seems to be coming to the end, all of their friends are at them going, why didn't you just do this? I don't understand why you can't just leave him. I don't understand why you think she's the right person for you. All of these things. And the person who is in the relationship that's ending or whatever is always saying, no, it's different between us. You should hear the things that he says to me when nobody's around. Or if you knew the history between us. It doesn't matter how many times you've come out of a relationship. You're always gonna feel like this time it was much worse than the time before. Like you're never gonna find somebody again. Like no one else understands. And, and this, it's different than anything that anyone else would know. It's not. It's all the same. Everyone feels the same at the end of a relationship. People are gonna come and go in your life and I promise every single time that you're in a new relationship, it's gonna be that much better than the one before. And that's not to say to go jumping from person to person to person. Give yourself to somebody when you decide to and really love them and really want to be there for them. But when it's over and everybody else is telling you it's over, the fact is, is that you can't see what everybody else sees. And granted, you're going to say they can't see what you see, but everyone's been there before. Don't sell yourself short. I know I kind of uh, veered off topic there a little bit, but the point is, is that if you in your heart don't know whether or not someone that you've been with for a significant amount of time is still interested in you, it's probably a talk that you need to have with them and you probably need to think about the reasons why you feel that way. Because if there are reasons why you feel that your partner is no longer interested in the relationship, I mean it could be that the relationship is just not going the way that you feel that a relationship that you're in should go. And if that's the case, shit hurts, you know? You'll meet someone again who thinks that you're beautiful and fantastic and funny and all of those other things and there's no reason to let somebody hurt you. I'm not saying to just jump out of a relationship and jump into the next relationship every single time that something goes wrong, but know who you are and what you want in a relationship and what you deserve. I guess my motto is that as long as you don't spend your life going out of your way to hurt other people, you should really do whatever you want and whatever you feel because this is the only one life that you have and whether you believe in heaven or reincarnation or anything else, the only guarantee that you have is this life. And it's right here. It's in your hands. Don't let anybody cheat you out of all of the fun that you could be having and all of the conversations that you deserve and all of the, you know, snuggles and kisses and amazing feelings that you could have inside of you. No one should take that away from you because they've been with you for a certain amount of time and so you feel like you should keep things going. Anyways, the point of this whole video is, is Love yourself, whoever you are. You have unlimited potential, unlimited possibility. You have just unlimited amounts of knowledge that you can learn and things that you can do. And, you know, especially in the last couple of years, I've realized that there's really nothing that you can't do. I don't know if anybody's heard the song, Everybody's Free to Wear Sunscreen. Uh, I'm going to try and find a video for it on YouTube. I, but if anything, I'll put the title and the artist in the... Um, you know, here or something now, hopefully, if I remember to do that. Otherwise, I'm going to look stupid because I'm pointing at nothing, so I'm hoping that there will be some words there. It is an amazing song, and I live by it because it is freaking amazing. And you should listen to it. That was a whole lot of flab for tonight.